A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who have been scared by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phantha, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, all you nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Felicia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the most high Lord. 
All you nations praise the Lord. They shall know when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there, and all shall see in their festive dance. My home is within you. All the nations praise the Lord. shepherd. 
so they did not get mixed up in the crowd. They followed their, their own. So that, uh, you know, we, we have many, many, I want to say, we hear many things today. And the uh, question is, is uh, well, many of these things are, are not the truth. Many of these things are false, are false. And that we have to be able to separate out uh, what is not the message of Jesus to what is indeed the message of Jesus and what he is saying. The faith of all, let us bring our knees to the fucking pot. For all the newly initiated of the Catholic Church, may God bless them abundantly in their faith and journeys. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders and nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working toward to protect life, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. For refugees, may God hold them in the palm of his hand and protect them as they seek freedom and safety. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For our community here, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit during this blessed Easter season increase our hope and joy for the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, especially those known only to God, may they enjoy the eternal peace of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us pray for Tony and Martha, Kalina, and Minchin, three tall, who we remember in a special way at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Eternal Father, we believe that you are greater than all. Inspired by this confidence, we humbly ask you to hear these our petitions. We pray. In your son's name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Preserve this good given even as you may become for us the bread of life. Yes. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice of yours may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant me, pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause. Of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us be thanks. To the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty God. But in this time above all, 
to him uh, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself to be the priest and altar of the land of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome the past for joy. Every land, every people, exalts in your prayers, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, 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 God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory, of the sun, the light, and the blessed is the name of the Lord, the Son, and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed. And that there be willingly to his passion to the bread, and give me thanks for broken, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given unto you. In a similar way, the son was empty to the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink it. For this is just my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this and do it. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you call us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spreads around the world. Then pray for the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters that have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. In all the dying in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And we're saying this so we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, your father, your spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Catherine, Alexander, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in you, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. That the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom be thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but the Lord has given us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming. Our Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ who says to the apostles, Peace I need, my peace I need. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and pray forever and ever. Peace and glory with you all.
voice in a free spirit that let us offer each other a sign of Christmas.
spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you at this moment sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Prayer of St. Joseph. St. Joseph, watch over me and care for me, just as you care for the child Jesus and by your help. May I come to know your son, so grow in strength and wisdom and the favor of God. Amen. You know, when I look at the front of the altar, I, I'm just kind of struck by the beauty of this uh, flower display here. Uh, we had that for our, our first communion masses last weekend. And I just, I just said, it's really beautiful the way it's laid out. It's all in terms of different colors and different types of uh, flowers. And uh, just as was most beautiful in the first communion of our second graders, have uh, the second uh, set of First Communion Masses coming Saturday with two more First Communion Masses. Let us pray. Hear, O oh Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange of gifts by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and assure us for eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And I will sing, sing a new song. Sing it out.